This is SS or S, excuse me. S L E uh, number seven, or excuse me, number eight. Uh, we're going to be clearing denominator. So this is a great skill that it will help you in future math and science classes. So yes, we do all all common denominators, which technically makes it easier. But think about this: if I were to take seven and multiply it times each term. These cancel, that gives me A. These cancel, that gives me minus 5. And these cancel, that gives me 6. Now I don't have to deal with fractions at all, even though that was an easier one. That's a great skill. Uh, let's see, number 3. So you get 3 fourths minus 1 fourth Z equals 1 fourth. Again, same exact denominators all the way through. If you multiply everything by 4, this is called clearing the denominator. And then you can go ahead and solve it. Subtract 3 from each side. And then multiply each side by negative 1. So you get z is equal to 2. So 2 thirds x minus 5 over 8 x equals 2. Now on this one, what you want to look at is these are not the same denominator. We do happen to have three terms. We have these three terms. So what I'm going to do is the number that 3 and 8 both go into, the least common multiple would be 24. So I'm going to multiply this by 24, this by 24, and this by 24. Notice I did all the terms separated by signs, equal signs or addition or subtraction signs. So if we do that, 3 goes into 24 8 times, multiply 8 times 2 to get 16, and then x minus... That goes another 3 times, so minus 15 is equal to 2 times 24, which is 48. Go ahead and add 15 to both sides. Those cancel, so I get 16x is equal to, what is that, uh, 63. Divide each side by 16. 63 will not reduce, so my answer is 63 over 16. Do not make it a mixed number. Okay. Take a final. Alright, this one we're going to multiply everything by 2. Again, we have three terms. That'll cancel out, so that gives me negative x. You can keep it negative 1x if you want. Plus 3x is equal to 40. Combine like terms, those are like terms, so that gives me 2x equals 40. Divide by 2, so x equals 20. Number 9, we have a 2x minus 1 half x plus 2, e, or wrong sign, minus 9 fourths x equals 52. So here we have a whole bunch of terms. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. So we're going to multiply by the smallest number that both 2 and 4 go into, which would be 4. Some of you might have said 8. You're still going to get the same answer, but your numbers will be bigger, but it'll still be the same answer once it works out. But we're going to multiply everything by 4. And then go ahead and start reducing. This is no reducing on the first one. That's 8x. This one reduces to 2, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2x plus 8. That cancels completely, so I get minus 9x is equal to, uh, what is that, 208. I do have some like terms over here. So combine those, I get 6x. Combine those, I get negative 3x plus 8 equals 208. I subtract 8 from each side. So those cancel, so I get negative 3x is equal to 200. Divide each side by negative 3. And so this is your answer, 200 over negative 3. Or you could have it, have it negative 200 over 3. Or you could actually have it as 200, a negative out in front. So any of these representations of that answer would be correct.